everybody welcome to IT skills today's video I'm gonna go ahead and destroy a failover cluster as you can see I have a failover cluster and I'm trying to get rid of it the reason I'm getting rid of it is because I feel like I can use it for other my server for other means and I don't want a failover cluster anymore you could have a different reason maybe you wanted to just destroy it because you want to decide to make a standalone server and that's what I'm doing so uh, right now, I'm gonna go ahead to go to the failover cluster management. And then the failover cl cluster management, all I'm simply gonna do is gonna be go ahead. This is my cluster. This is my nodes right now. They're both up and running. And you can see pretty much the configuration, IP. It's nice. This is, I'm using two Intel Nuka servers, two Intel Nuka as my servers, and they're fine. I don't have any roles or anything installed. I don't have any storage set up. And this is my network. So I'm gonna right click to destroy the cluster, right click. And from here, once I right click, I'm gonna click on more actions and I'm gonna hit destroy cluster. So by clicking destroy cluster, it should dissolve the cluster. And that's what I want. So let's click there. Are you sure you wanna permanently destroy the cluster? Yes, I am. And now it's destroying the cluster. So it looks like it's almost done destroying the cluster. Once it's done, we'll take a look at it and verify that it is destroyed. And that's it. Looks like it's gone. Our failover cluster is destroyed. Now let me connect to the other server. I'm going to RDP into my second server. Let me minimize this server. Let me RDP to this server. So this is the second server that was making up my cluster. And if I go ahead, search for failover cluster, let's search it again. See the failover cluster management is there, but there's no cluster formed. So I have to create a new cluster to form it. But I'm not gonna form it. So that's all the video is about how to destroy a failover cluster. Do not do this if you're not ready to do this, basically. Do not do it if you're doing this on the production. Don't get curious. This is a lab only method. Some clusters can be a detrimental if you destroy it in your organization. So only do it when you are basically know that you don't need this anymore and you're doing on a controlled environment such as lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this type of video, please like, subscribe and have a great rest of the day. Peace.